Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the last few days of January into the beginning of February. So it is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we are going to get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future. And then we'll take a look at what's going on with you and your person's energy. So if you're returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I hope you'll stay. I am available for personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the info's in the description box below the video or in my about section of my channel. Sorry guys, I sound like shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm very congested, still trying to get over being sick. So I hope you'll bear with me. I wanted to get something out since I had been MIA for a little while. So I hope everybody's doing okay. Let's go ahead and get into it. Your recent past is the Four of Cups. Then we have the... <coughs> here it comes <coughs> sorry guys queen of swords and the king of pentacles in reverse and then we have the two of cups in reverse in your current energy with the page of cups and the moon in reverse and then in the near future we have the high priestess in reverse with the knight of pentacles and the three of pentacles so your current energy, somebody's got some kind of a truth that they need to reveal to you and I'm not sure you actually even want to hear it um, whoever this person is, I'm going to say this right off the bat, they're, they're incredibly unstable. So as soon as I say that, you're going to know who this energy is. It doesn't have to be a romantic person. Um, this could actually be a mother who comes back and tells you, hey, I want to apologize because I said something, I think, out of line or that hurts your feelings and I just want to say I'm really sorry. Now, it could be any kind of feminine energy in your life. I do feel like it is a feminine though. So regardless of what gender you are, this person is either a sibling, a parent, a friend. Um, I don't feel romantic here. <coughs> so sorry, guys. I just feel like this person wants to come in and tell you the truth about something and or apologize for having said something that was kind of either... Sh it really cut you kind of deeply is what I want to say. So whoever this is that says things like this to you and they they find it kind of amusing at times to say things and then they laugh it off afterwards. One, that's gaslighting. Two, this feels like somebody who really finds themselves funny and it's not and it's cutting and it's, it's I'm sorry, this is going left. So I'm going to say that it's kind of twisted energy. So the justice is coming in. So just know that when somebody treats you that way, Yes, there can be a spiritual meaning behind it, but I'm just going to stick to the human side of things and say, I'm not sure that you really want this apology. I think you just would rather keep your distance from this person. Just know that their energy is a little bit unstable. So justice is coming out. I don't think you need to think twice about this. You're not going to give it a lot of energy. I think you're just going to maybe hear this person out and if they try to make excuses for it, you may just kind of swipe it to the side and say, I just don't have time and then pull back your energy. So that's not going to be for everybody, but that's the first message that I picked up from the recent past. It could have happened. There's something about not wanting to carry these types of personalities and people in your life into the future. So if, if this is something that had happened for you repetitively, where you had people who felt like they had the right to cross a certain boundary and say certain things to you, I think there's something about this that you really want to stop. So justice is coming in. In other words, you know, yes, people will get their karma. That's theirs to deal with. It's more important that we focus on you and how you can come to a place where those types of energies cannot penetrate yours. And I know that sounded very physical, but you know what I'm saying. So we don't invite those energies back into our space. And I think that's a, a, one of the many things that's probably going to be shifting and changing for you in your birthday season. So just know that that's going to be significant. And then I also want to say that you could be dealing with someone who's a Scorpio. There's a lot of strong water energy, but also Libra, Gemini, or another Aquarius. So I have a Gemini energy and it's upside down. So this is somebody who doesn't really um, play well with others. So you're going to know who I'm talking about. Like I said, some big shifts and changes probably in your tolerance level for people like that and wanting there to be more balance in your life. And I think you've realized that you just have to cut people like that off. Okay, so in the current energy, we have the Two of Cups in reverse with the Page of Cups and the Moon in reverse. Like I said, this is somebody who wants to apologize. 
Now, it could also, yes, in this case, be <coughs> something um, slightly romantic where somebody comes in and, and makes an offer to you, but you may not feel like the two of you really see eye to eye, and that could be why you're not willing to open up. With the moon, I don't think this person is, is hiding anything. Um, if there's apologies, it could be for not having been forthright before about how they felt. But in this case, I'm going to say they, they didn't think that you had an attraction to them. They felt almost like you didn't really see them. So this is going to be a different scenario than the recent past. Current energy is saying they're not hiding anything. I don't think that there was like secrets or mystery or anything crazy behind it. I think they just want to come in and say, hey, listen, you know, maybe we were friends before or I've had my eye on you and I just wasn't sure that you reciprocated the feelings. So... I wanted to approach you and see how you feel about this. So that could be coming up for you guys in the current energy. This could also just be a friend that wants to have a conversation because you had a falling out. Now that's a different energy from the recent past as well. So you have a lot of people that seem to want to come into your energy over the next week or so, maybe during Mercury retrograde into your season. Now in the near future, we have the High Priestess in reverse with the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. They want you to focus on your intuition here and make sure that you pick up on any little hints and signals around something to do with work. Like if there's, there's a collaboration that I feel like is coming up for you. So you could be headed in the right direction, but at times you may miss like a little bit of um, what your intuition is trying to tell you. It doesn't mean you're going to miss the opportunity, by the way. It just means at times you may not have listened to what your gut was trying to tell you. And now... Spirit's like, hey, we're knocking on your door. So I want you to wake up and recognize that we're trying to get this together for you. It's going to benefit you. Yes, I do feel it is around collaborating with others around your work situation. It's going to help further your career if you do. Let's say you're an entrepreneur and you do, let's say you do this for a living. You're on YouTube or something of that sort. It's going to take more than one person, you may need to research some things. Collaborations can be just learning from other people as well, I feel like this is trying to say. Um, but just stay steady with it. Whatever it is that you're doing, don't give up on it because I think there's something big coming in the near future that's really going to further things. <coughs> All right, hang on. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify with the Four of Cups and the Queen of Swords and see if there's any other energies that want to pop out with that. Okay, let's see what this person's up to. So the High Priestess comes in. This is like spirit coming in and intervening, intervening in this situation and saying, hey, look, I want you to take a really deep look at this and see how much you've changed how much um, more you are focused on taking care of your own boundaries and yourself and not allowing people to do these types of things. Whoever this is to you, I, I just don't like their energy. I feel like it's on purpose. It, it feels beyond what a normal spiritual lesson would be. This just feels like straight cruelty at times. So just pay attention to what they're trying to show you. They're trying to get you to a place where you feel a little bit more disconnected from that and a little freer to be um, aware of what's going on so you don't keep allowing that kind of behavior. All right, and then we have the Knight of Cups. So this person's shut off emotionally. I don't think they know how to actually be in loving relationships. Even if this is a, a person that's in your family, like we think just because someone's family that they're supposed to love us and treat us right. That's not the case. Or we wouldn't have so many messed up souls that are here right? Those parents are there to trigger whatever it is that your soul came here to learn. So if you're having a difficult interaction with somebody, it's because you're supposed to learn a lesson. And in this case, I'm going to say, yes, it can be very difficult because it's someone who's close to you <clears throat> and it doesn't feel good. And it, it never really gets that much easier. It does at some point. I'm not going to say it never does. It gets easier when you can start disassociating yourself from people who have a label, if you will, like a mom, a dad, a sister, and things like that, and realize, okay, this is obviously something that's not healthy for me. I need to move away from it and stay away in order to keep my sanity. All right, I'm not going to beat that up, but just know that person is not stable. Okay, 
Current energy, Two of Cups and the Page of Cups and the Seven of Wands. This is you being on the defensive. So if somebody does come to approach you and apologize for something and it's other than this person, I think you might be at the moment like, mm, slow down. <coughs> I'm not sure that I'm ready to hear this. Or even this is saying to me also that <coughs> this is probably not the only person that might have interest in you. There might be a lot of people who have been watching you to me, this can represent different energies, not just like someone who's up there. It's almost like a speaker and you've got a bunch of reporters um, coming at you, asking you a bunch of questions. So you may have a lot of suitors or people that might be interested in you. And this person pops up and says, hey, listen, you know, are you willing? Are you open to the idea of possibly going out? I'd like to give this a shot. They could be a little younger than you as well. Now that could be a Gemini, a Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius. All right, and the Page of Cups with the Moon in reverse is the Ace of Swords. I think something about this is going to be kind of confusing to you. Maybe you never thought that this person ever had any kind of interest. And you're like, what, what, what? I'm kind of confused. This seems a little out of left field. Let's see. All right, so in the near future, that's what that is for the, the current energy. In the near future, the High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles and then the Tower. <laughs> So something is going to shift and change. We have three different, clearly different scenarios here. In the near future, something is going to shift and change in your world, in your work life. This is what I was talking about. Pay attention to the signs because Spirit's trying to help make these changes for you. Um, and if you don't make them, something's going to come in <coughs> and rock the boat a bit in order for you to see this because it is for your, your highest good. Just know that it's not meant to stir you up and make you unhappy. It's actually meant to lead you down a path of finding either more success or the opportunity that you've been looking for or the collaboration that's meant to be in your life so that you can um, get even further than maybe you've already gotten in your career. All right, let's look at the Knight of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. And then we have the Judgment in Reverse. So don't give up on manifestation at this time, please. Like there's something that needs to be, well, this is also about making a decision and being indecisive at times, I feel. But for me, it's about keeping your focus and your faith and don't losing, don't losing, don't lose faith in what's trying to happen here. I think it's going to be pretty surprising when it comes about, even though you feel led at times to go towards something, it still feels like a, a surprise, like, oh my God, it actually is coming true or it's actually happening. All right, so I'm gonna clear this and we will get into your person's energy. So think about them for just a moment. So the moon in reverse, I just don't think things are gonna to continue to be hidden from you. If you have any questions about whether people have been deceitful, it's gonna to come to light. So just know that the person in the current energy that might have a crush on you or the person that um, has been a little shoddy, you're gonna see them for who they are and it's going to be a different light that's shown on this person like you I just think you're going to see them completely different than you ever have before all right let's take a look at what's going on with you and your person this is for Aquarius okay so your person's energy is the knight of wands this is somebody who doesn't seem to be in a place of Watch out, Simba. Sorry, kitty. Don't want the kitty to jump on the table. Uh, doesn't seem to be moving very quickly as far as communication is concerned. So you may be a little bit confused about how they feel right now. They're not indecisive. Like they don't have to think about this. They're just, their movement isn't very strong. So they could be somebody who just moves slow. I don't think it's that there is a lack of interest. It just feels like they don't move very fast. That's all I want to say for that. So your energy is the justice in reverse with the seven of swords in reverse, the hierophant in reverse and the magician. I feel like this exact same combination came out for another sign, like identical, but the other deck, that's crazy. Okay. The overall is the seven of cups. So there's some confusion for sure. They're not confused. I think the confusion might be on your part where you're just not sure what this person really wants. I don't think they show all of their their cards right away. I don't know how long for some of you you've been with this person. It just feels like there's um, 
not enough movement for you. So if you decide you don't want them, they do have an interest. I just don't think they're going to be consistent, at least not now. If that's too much for you to handle, like I don't think you like the way this feels. It doesn't feel balanced. I think you're losing hope in the situation, to be honest with you. Um, the magician in reverse just makes it feel like maybe you think this person's manipulative or that they have issues. I don't think that they're someone who lies and cheats and plays a lot of games. I just, for some reason, they're holding back. It could just be some scenario that's happening in their lives. It does create confusion and I think sometimes a little bit of frustration, but I don't doubt that things are going to start to move forward. You're just going to have to see it for what it is. Um, basically, if this person's only offering one out of four cups and that's all they have to give right now, are you willing to accept that? I don't think that things are going to stay slow, but yeah, at times it may be qu question, it may put you in a place where you question your own worth because when somebody seems to play games, which I don't know that they are, or they're confusing with their energy, that can really put, you know, pressure on us. And it can also take a toll because it makes you wonder, like, I'm confused. Why is this person acting this way? But I'm going to say, if you give it a little bit of time, things could probably change. I don't think it's going to be as hard uh, to work through as you might think. All right. Now let's get the romance angels, see what that has to say, and then we'll get a little bit of advice as well. This is for Aquarius. All right, it says for yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. So if there's a part of you that felt like things were imbalanced and this person isn't taking action the way that you had hoped, obviously you can make that choice. Um, if this is something that involves marriage, I don't feel like necessarily it's about someone you're married to, it could be. If you are married to this person, they could be pulling back their energy and you may be questioning whether they're doing something shady. I don't think so. I just think that they're going through something of their own. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, that could be, but I'm not going to the whole this is your ex coming back to you kind of energy. That doesn't feel like it. This could just be the two of you if you're still in a relationship where you're trying to work things out. That could be a reconciliation. And then deception, someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So be cautious about what your person is telling you. But I just, mm, some of you may be going, yeah, this person's a total jackass. I want nothing to do with them. I get it. For those of you that have dealt with somebody that's like that, <coughs> or you feel like they're being manipulative, cool. Then you deserve love and this is not the one for you. For those of you that know that they're just going through something and they're, you know, it's keeping them from taking the steps that you would hoped that they would, I'd say give it some time and make sure that you see it for exactly what it is if you're not wanting to give up just yet. I just think there's a part of you that might be losing a little bit of hope that things could work out. Let's see. All right, this is for Aquarius. Let's see what this person's doing. I, don't, I just don't feel like there's a lot of manipulation in this person's energy. I just feel like they're holding back for some reason. Okay, well, look, the Ten of Cups. This is what the advice is. So I'm going to say this could be a, a really happy situation, or at one point there was happiness there. This is getting over any kind of heartbreak. So they're basically what they're saying is try to celebrate the relationship for um, the good that you know that it has and try not to hold on to anything that may have happened in the past that hurt, if you can because that's just gonna bring unhappiness. So they're saying try to do the best that you can to think about what is good about the relationship and keep your focus there versus focusing on maybe something that had been painful, which obviously is hard, you know? Let's see, we've got the Lover's Oracle. Let's see what this has to say for you. This is for Aquarius. So we have, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So if if you're feeling like, oh my God, I don't know which direction to go, I would say don't worry about that. Every choice you make is going to be the best one for you at the time as long as you're following your intuition. And then it says life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you'll be surprised where it leads. I think that's going to happen. Now, we saw that there was going to be some big change in the near future, and I think something's going to surprise you. Could both be in work and in your partnership. 
And then we have acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Absolutely. We can't change people. We can only change circumstances. Right? All right. Let's see what we've got with the wisdom of the oracle. So, oh, well, we have them upside down, so I'm going to turn them right side up. So this is saying go with the flow, and that is so much easier said than done. Sevens are about finding flow in your life. So to the C, you could be feeling like you just want to give it up to God and see where things go. And that can be hard. I know it's hard when you really want things to be a little bit different, but they're asking you to be at ease right now. There is some mending going on. A lot of sevens, you could be dealing with a cancer or someone born on the seventh of the month, or you could be. And then we have a message in a bottle. So I think this person is going to come forward and let you know what's been going on, especially um, if there's been any doubt that they have feelings. I don't think they want you to feel that way. So we have a lot of fives, which is also changes for me as well. And then we have one. So this is good because that means there's a fresh start of some sort when we see the one, and then the 10 is what's on the bottom, which is great. That's two ones, new beginnings. So if you're in a place where you really want to mend this relationship, it seems like once you get that message, if you haven't spoken to them or they open up about what's been going on, I think the two of you can find a way to balance out the energies and start anew. All right. You guys, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you again for all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I hope you guys have an amazing end of your month into the beginning of February. If you'd like a personal reading, the info is in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. Again, thank you so much for being here. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.